the more that you're curious, the more that you're questioning. The more that you're questioning, the more that you're a skeptic. The more that you're a skeptic, then people start to get sort of their backs up of, why am I being questioned? So we have to, as much as we say we want people to be curious, we have to support and enable curiosity within organizations. When we're making decisions in business, we have to be careful about the assumptions that we make because assumptions are preconceived ideas and those preconceived ideas are not necessarily true. And that when we make decisions, they should be based on data and facts. And we as human beings normally rely on assumptions because we think that they make us more efficient and they think that they make us more intelligent as we're making these decisions. You know, we talk about the majority and majority thinking, which I'm sure you guys can appreciate when you're in meetings and we're collaborating you know, and it never really made sense to me. And I'm sitting around a boardroom at Microsoft and people are like, well, we need consensus. We need consensus. And I'm like, well, why do we need consensus? Do you believe that there's innovation in consensus? There needs to be a spark. There needs to be a debate. In the debate lies the magic. We talk about diversity of thinking. We talk about diversity of ideas. If we don't conflict, if you don't present your ideas and mine, and if we don't conflict, will there be innovation? Will there be a true spark? And why do we want to go with the majority? And what I'm saying is, in the minority lies some level of magic and some truth. 